Today on Heather's Closet, what's in my bag? Oh, hey, and there may be a giveaway in here too. What is in my bag? Or if you live in Minnesota, bag. So what is in my bag? I actually spent all of yesterday in Los Angeles because Wednesdays are my LA day. So I always have a really big tote with me and I didn't unpack it so you could actually see what is in the bag. First of all, how cute is this bag? So this is this Louis Vuitton bag that's like different on all sides. And one of the things I love about it is that it has short handles so you can carry it kind of in your elbow and it has long handles so you can carry it over your shoulder. Kind of genius. Okay, now if you're already vomiting from how many patterns and colors there are in this bag, I have a logo scarf from Fendi that completely doesn't match, but is this really lovely modal weight scarf. And it's like a little blankie. I like to have it in the car when I'm going back and forth. So. Most of you know Pete drives me and I sit in the back and on the way home from LA, it's usually late, it's after dinner, and so I kind of cuddle up with my little blankie. Of course, I have my phone. But speaking of phones, I have the new phone, which is, is it called the 11? I don't know, it's called the 11, I think. The 11? Um, so I got the phone, I ordered it, it came in, and you can see it's still in the box, because Terry opened his, and it was glitchy, and he hated it, and he said he was gonna return it, and apparently there's some iOS update that's coming up, and it's all gonna be fixed. So until then, just carrying it around. Makeup. I love this little makeup bag. This is from a few years ago when Chanel did a whole travel set. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna show you what's in my makeup kit because I'm doing a makeup tutorial for my new kind of daytime look and that's coming up. So stay tuned and you'll get to see exactly what's in there. Hairspray, guess I have two of them. This is L'Oreal El Net. It's at the drugstore. It's the best hairspray ever because you can spray your hair like a million times and it doesn't get sticky and it doesn't get stiff and you can still like brush your hair through it. Look here. Very nice, I love the smell. Some people don't, but I love it. Oh, here's a book. Stop Self Sabotage. This is from Dr. Judy Ho. I love this book, this is a great book. She was actually on our podcast on Dr. Mrs. Guinea Pig. And um, I think it's just good to carry around sometimes. And I also put it on one of my teenagers' desks just to give them a little hint there. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is good. Oh, so this is a little mini um, flattening iron. This one is from Diva, and you know what's cool about it? You can plug it in the car. So Pete's car is an SUV, I think he has a Lincoln, and there's a plug in the back. Have you ever seen a plug, like a regular plug in the back of the SUV? You can't like plug in one of those big flat irons, it won't work, but these little guys totally work, and that's so good. My day is so long on Wednesdays, I basically, I get up at six, I get the kids ready for school, and then I go up to LA, and I do two podcasts, and then I take meetings for my fashion line, or I have a vocal lesson with Eric Vitro, who I adore, and then um, I go back to the studio, and I record Dr. And Mrs. Guinea Pig with Terry, and then we go out to dinner, we have a date night. But yesterday was kind of crazy, because I, I did Lance Bass's new podcast, so he's got a great show called Popcast. It's a daily show. And then I did Women on Top with Tam and Sursock, and that was super fun. Um, oh, I have this camera. I just got a new camera for vlogging. I actually haven't used it yet, but everyone says it's awesome. It's this new Canon, and I like it because you can flip up the top and selfie really easily. It's a Canon G7X. Um, I've seen video and pictures from this and they're pretty epic. The one thing I feel like I need is I need a stick. I need like a selfie stick for my phone and my camera, but it just seems so dweeby to me that I just can't, I don't know, I haven't been able to pull the trigger on that. I might need to figure that out. If anyone has a good solution for the dweeby selfie stick, by all means, let me know. Um, my wallet, so it's kind of a cool, it doesn't really close because it's just stuffed. It's a little Prada wallet, but you know what my favorite part of this wallet is? Is this, because honestly, this is probably all I need, like my ID and my couple of credit cards. And then it pops open. Glasses, because I can't see when I have my contacts in, so I'm, what is that? I'm 
nearsighted. So I can see up close, I can't see far away, so I wear contact lenses to see far away, but when I have the contact lenses in, then I can't read. And that is insane. But I thought about getting LASIK so I could see far away, but then I thought about the apocalypse. So in the apocalypse, if I have a pair of glasses, reading glasses, and they break or something, like I'm I'm screwed, right? Because I can't read. And I figured I don't really care about the distance vision because I don't care if the zombies are coming to kill me, but I do want to be able to read and see, is this food? And if I have LASIK and no glasses, I can't read. Things I think about. Um, I have no idea why this is in here, but um, this is the periodic table of elements. And I bought this for one of the kids, and maybe that's why it's in here, because I can't remember who I bought it for, and it's so pretty. But I can't remember if I bought it for, it was either for Coco, Nikki, or Max. It wasn't Kat, but I can't remember who, so I haven't given it to them. Um, then I have my pouch. This is kind of a cool Dior pouch with the flowers and this, I don't know, this dinosaur-like thing. And this is, this is like my junk drawer. This is what I have all the time. So what does it have in it? It's got like a mirror. See up close. Tampon, whisks. I like those for the airplane. Band-aids, compact, earplugs, console beauty concealer, Advil, makeup brush, pen, some contact lens solution, a blush. I kind of have just like a little bit of makeup, a couple of extra pairs of contact lenses in there, some Pepto-Bismol, just stuff like that. Oh, speaking of my fashion line, look at that. These are the hang tags, and these are the um, tags that get sewn in the clothing. Isn't that cool? So excited. That's coming up soon, man. Capsule collection, very exciting. Speaking of which, I can't tell you what this is for, but let's just say it goes with that. Um, I have some random lip colors. This is a little Chanel gloss, and this is a Dior lipstick. It's not as bright as it looks. I like these little Dior lipsticks. They have a nice texture to them. There's like, this is like an endless bag. Um, oh, I have this Aribe split end seal. This is really nice for just, you know, kind of freshening up your hair in the middle of the day, especially since I cut all my hair off again. Sometimes like if I'm running out the door and I don't get it perfectly straight or dry, it gets a little frizzy, so that's good. A pair of sunglasses. It's one of my favorites. I'm actually, do you guys know I'm allergic to latex and most plastics, isn't that crazy? So I can only wear wire rim glasses and these are so light. Love these, I think they're Fendi. Are they cool? They may be a little too cool for me, but I like them anyway. So those are my sunglasses. Ah, this is um, Entertainer's Secret. This is spray for your voice. I started singing again, I'm taking Vocal lessons again with my old coach, Eric Vitro, who's so fabulous. He coaches like Ariana Grande and Shawn Mendes, like all these amazing people, and me. And I use this to keep my voice in working order. Then I have this little microphone. So if I need to record something on my phone and I'm out of the studio, I can just pop this into the bottom here and I've got an app for it and I can just talk into it. The quality is actually really, really good. That's my little microphone. Have some AirPods. Key to my car. Oh, I have this little um, charger. This is actually a charging block that Gucci sent me. It's super cute. By the way, you know you spend too much money at a store when they start sending you free presents. Don't let your husband see that. Uh, and then we have wet ones, which is a great idea when you're traveling. And when I get on an airplane, I take these suckers out and I wipe everything down. I wipe down the screens, the arms, the seat belts, the, the headrest, the uh, air conditioning, little um, dials, the window. I do everything. That's how you don't get sick. And then finally, I have a little good luck Buddha from Mrs. Lee. 
So if you listen to Heather Dubrow's World Podcast, you will know who Mrs. Lee is. She is um, an advisor of sorts to me, and I like having this with me, and I like to hold it in the car. Makes me feel good. So that's what's in my bag. Is that crazy? By the way, look how much lighter the bag is now. <laughs> so that's me on a typical day. This was a big day, and now I'm kind of glad I took it all out so I can reorganize and put everything in its place and, and put my makeup away. Oh, I forgot our giveaway. I'm going to put a couple of fun things for my bag together and one of you is going to get to win that little pack. So what you have to do is be a subscriber, comment below, and make sure to like this video. Good luck!